Ladies and gentlemen, Dwayne Stark. Come on up, Dwayne. Well, eternally decent, wow. Thank you, I appreciate that. Very much so. So, you know, I'm sitting back there listening to these incredible men and women share with you guys and wondering, what does the young new guy share with you, especially after them? And uh, quite frankly, I'm sitting there looking at this balloon the whole time, distracted, trying to figure out how I'm gonna get it down. And really, that's a reflection of my personality. As I think of what can a young guy who is new to the political realm accomplish up in the house? Especially, although we are going to change this, right, Dennis? Especially when we've been outnumbered for so long. And one of my favorite quotes came to mind as I was sitting back there and as, I, as people asked me, what do you, what, how can you accomplish anything? How can you get something done? And I think one of my favorite quotes, you guys, if you ever watched the movie Amazing Grace at, uh, with William Wilberforce, and it, there's a scene in it where William Pitt approaches William Wilberforce, by the way, William Wilberforce being the one who is credited with the abolishing slavery in England. And so William Pitt is about to go on to be the youngest prime minister ever in the history there. He's about to run for office, and, uh, and he says, you know, I'm too young to realize I can't do the impossible, so I do it anyway. And I love that, because when I look at where we are going as a nation, when I worry at night about what is going to happen with my children, and what opportunities will or will not be there, by the way, my children, they're the, the five little ones that were running around making all the noise earlier, when I worry about that, and I'm concerned with that, and I go to bed praying about that, I think I'm too young, and I care too much to give up and hand it over to somebody else who's going to steal away their liberty and steal away their opportunities. And if we keep going on the course that we're on, that's where we're going to end up. With our children being run by our government, with our businesses being run by our government, and with our money being taken from us and given away by our government. And I refuse to let that happen. I recently read a book called Indivisible, and it started out with, uh, in the first chapter it says, it proposes this scenario and it, it says, imagine your grandchildren asking you this question, where were you when liberty died? Where were you when liberty died? And I want you guys to know it is not going to die on my watch. But it's going to take people like you and people like those candidates up here to keep it from dying in my generation. So I look forward to your vote. I look forward to working with you. I look forward to representing you. Thank you for your time.